Well, good evening, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. We've got ourselves another Loco review. Um, haven't had one for a while. This is a little bit of a special one, but we'll start off with the box anyway. It's a Val exclusive limited edition model. Um, I think they, I mean, I haven't ever bought anything like this. Um, I don't know if Batchman work with them, I think they do. But anyway, we want to look at the model. So here we go. Can you guess what it is yet? Ooh, it's a V trains. If that's how you say it, VI trains. Um, class forty seven. Um, I've never ever had a VI trains before. Um, so anyway, let's let's have a look. I'll show you what it is. So. Before we get any further, Rao exclusive, blah blah blah. Instructions how to fit the million and one detail parts, and most importantly, this is going to tell us what it is. And here we are it's Direct Rail Services Class 47 Collection Limited Edition. This one is 47853. Rao Express. Um, what it says here? One of a set of five double O gauge locomotives representing direct rail service machines produced exclusively for Rao exclusive models by VI trains in Italy. So this is number 186 of 400. So yeah, the pitch is quite impressive. Um, but we'll talk through the model in a second. So anyway, let's move this stuff. So the box, um, very much like Helgen. Slide the top off and the foam. You've seen all this before, haven't you? You don't need you. You think oh, I had this all before, right? Foam, mate. So pa packaging's reasonably good. So anyway, I have already had it out and tested it. I've had a good look around it. Very, very much like Helgen with the plastic bag to pull out. Got all your detailing parts, and of course, if it zooms, right there, metal, there you go. Press plates. Lovely. Anyway, let's get the model out. So just lift up gently. Hang on, just put this down. Eight level and put the bag down out of the way. So, first thing, since it's looking really good, and I'm pretty impressed with it already. Um, there's a few things that I'm going to go through that I think um, lets it down, but we'll go through them things and we'll also go through the things that make it really good. So, first of all, I'll get on the track, the test track. Bear with us. Right, so we're on. Okay, uh, this is a dead track, but it's just something to put it on safely. So, looking at the model, it's looking pretty good. The livery is really nice. Um, so, starting, let's start from the top. So, usual detail along, along like. A Backman model, really, um, but what I really like is these. Obviously, these are the later grills, like they fit into the class 57s, uh, the 57 threes. Um, these obviously been fitted to the 47s to modify them, and I think they look really good. Really good on that's a really nice touch down the side. Uh, it's it's the usual stuff, like Batman, nice fuel tanks, and detail. Coloured in bits, nice nameplate, very crisp numbers. The numbers, and the actual delivery is very crisp. So what we what we'll now look at is the ends. It's what I, which I want to talk about. So obviously, what lets the model down, in my opinion. 
out of the box it's quite basic um, <clears throat> excuse me really disappointed it has no wipers um, and I hang on I don't even know if there's holes to fit them um, but where things go down things come up the front is flush it's been it represents the actual model which is really uh, the real thing um, the couplings they are body mounted or chassis mounted shall I say on a spring the buffers they are sprung there you go they're plastic so please do be very careful with it um, that's about it really there's not much to talk about um, I'll put it on the track just to show you um, I have fitted sounds to this it's quite awkward with the speaker of I'll have to get a different speaker for it to fit properly so I'll just put this on now come on okay we're on right so I'll just get the controller and I'll just it's very smooth it's quite smooth uh, we, uh, lights on I'll just move it forward Right, the lights, the lights are pretty good, although they shine into the cab slightly and through this light here. But I think we're just being picky. And the other way, nice lights, not too bright, not too in your face. But if you look here, I'll just point here with a paper clip. Can you see that area there? The light is actually shining through the plastic. Obviously you wouldn't get it on a Backman or a Hornby model, which is a shame. But all in all, it's actually quite a nice logo. So I'll just run it past. It's quite quiet as well. So all in all, I mean I paid a fair bit for this, I'm not going to say how much, um, but it was about £100, um, which is what it was when it was new. It's got room for improvement, I'm going to fit some detail into it and tart it up a bit, but overall I'm happy with it. Um, Chris Livery, obviously they're the only company that have made a DRS 47 in the Compass Livery, um, surprise supposedly Batchman hasn't released a 47 they are going to uh, they released a 57 57011 in the compass and 57309 um, and a few 37s but they've never done a 47 which is a shame but they are bringing one out next year which is also a limited edition well thank you for watching any questions or give me some tips that'd be great thank you